starting April 1st, 2023, NCLEX is changing its style and it's called wow. NGN, mm -hmm. Next Generation NCLEX. Hello guys, I hope you are all doing well. My name is Diana. So this is basically a channel for registered nurses overseas who wish to migrate abroad. So basically we share useful information if you wish to migrate to the UK as a registered nurse, healthcare assistant. I've done so many videos that you can find very, very useful. And this particular video is going to be about the new NCLEX that people are talking about. So if you have the dream of migrating to the US, either from Ghana, Nigeria, Zimbabwe, wherever you are or even if you're already here in the uk then you should pay particular attention to this video because there is new changes coming up in the end list and obviously you cannot move to the us without writing the end list you can't work as a resident nurse in us without the end list so if you are interested in knowing what's coming up in this new end list please stay tuned and i've got a special guest with me she is called Priscilla. I'll leave her to do her own introduction so that she will give you more details about what she is into and what her consult is all about before we go into the details of this video. So thank uh -huh. you very much, Diana, for having me here. My name is Priscilla Puma, registered nurse as it, it shows on the screen. Mm -hmm. I come from Ghana, as Diana said. I schooled in Ghana, started, worked in Ghana before moving to the U.S. to join my family to work in the U.S. When I got to the U.S., I did not come to the U.S through any nursing agency. I came to you through family reunion and I did the process all by myself. It took me two mm -hmm. years to be able to figure out the process. And wow. since then I've been helping people, sharing free content on my YouTube channel. And yes. that informed my decision to form a consult called US mm -hmm. RM Party Consult. So if you're a registered okay. nurse, you are a midwife or mm -hmm. psychiatry or mental health nurse who wants to work in the USA, can't find us at USRM part of your console. Basically, just put that in Google and we'll pop up for you. Find us and we'll guide you to the process. We are processing firm. We help you do the paperwork and then you can write anchor in South Africa or any place of your choice. Then we find the recruiters. Basically, I'm the lead consultant for that console. Wow. But I'm a registered wow. nurse. Yes, but I'm a registered nurse and I work in New York State. For mm -hmm. So basically that's me and I'm a YouTuber. So if you haven't subscribed wow. to my channel, you are uh -huh. out. I've shared a lot of opportunities. I've, I've yes. taught people a lot of things on there. And my channel name is Priscilla Kuma Aaron. So mm -hmm. find my channel name is right on the screen. Put it in YouTube and you'll find me yeah. there as well. The purpose for actually inviting you is I know you are actually the consultant for US and everything. So you've got all the details. So when I heard about the fact that there has been some changes or there's going to be some changes, I felt like, no, I have to contact Presla for her to give us all the details because I know you have this course. So obviously you will definitely know about what's coming up, you know, and what we should expect or what others should expect if they actually hope to migrate to the US. So can you tell us briefly about how the old or the current endless system is and how it works? NCLEX is the USA licensure you take as a nurse to be able to practice nursing in America. So for an overseas nurse, you need to also take that. But before you take the NCLEX, you would have to do a lot of paperwork to show that your education that you got outside the US is equivalent to the one in the USA. Mm -hmm. Then you move from evaluation stage, then you go and get ATT authorization to test. Mm -hmm. Then you now get a date and register with PSNBU. It's the whole thing that mm -hmm. you have to go through before you get qualified to write mm -hmm. the USA licensure called NCLEX. Mm -hmm. yes. So NCLEX is a computer-based test. Okay. Basically, it has this format. It has objective. You just pick one answer, A, B, C, D. You pick one answer. Then as you progress through the test, you can pick, select all the apply, multiple mm -hmm. choice. More okay. than one answer is correct. Oh, okay. There's one called drag and drop. You drag an item from this box and take it to the next box. Uh, okay. There's cardiac, EKG strips, mm -hmm. cardiac rhythms. They will pop up, there will be a drag diagram and they will ask you what, what is the is. cardiac, is it first degree heart block, is it asystole, you have to Wow. Start. Yes. So <laughs> in grades, there's prioritization question. They will list okay. and then all the answers are correct, but mm. what will you do first as a next? 
and the higher you go the more the questions become difficult wow they tighten the questions so you uh -huh. and you move forward you can never go back there's no back carol to go and start with the next question starting april 1st 2023 and uh -huh. class is changing its style and it's called wow. ngn uh -huh. next generation anklets okay and that is making fellow brothers and sisters outside the u.s panic especially <laughs> have not started the process they are afraid that april is almost here and you do not want to write that because they have changed the question pattern a lot okay so anybody who takes the anklets before then you are likely to get the old system anklets what makes you think that is the reason for them to have made these changes to bring about this new generation anklets. Is there a particular reason why you think they've brought this? Up? Yeah, they want to see whether you grasp the concept, whether you know what you are going to do in real life when you start working, the quality care you are going to give. That is why they are trying to make this question style suit what happens in real life. Uh -huh. Place. Uh -huh. CSBN. If you go uh -huh. to their website, they are the body that organizes this anklets thing. Anklets. Mm. If you go to their website, the info, all the information about the new generation anklets NGN is on their website. Okay. They actually have a YouTube video explaining everything to you. Mm. So you can put that in Google and just read more about the NGN as a viewer <laughs> and it's going uh -huh. to Yes. So, Alice, you've given us a brief intro about how the old uh, anklets is or how the current enclaves is so mm -hmm. now we should expect the new enclaves to start april 2023 can you give us uh, like uh, more details about what goes into this new uh, enclaves that we should expect what are the categories or yeah. the set of questions that we should expect in this new generation enclaves so the main thing they are doing or they will have added is the case study case study case studies and before there was no case studies okay so there was no case study scenarios in the old or the current place at all just wow. questions or drag and drop mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. I, I said all the apply prioritization okay. mm -hmm. yeah so now they added wow. three case studies and each case study has six sub questions wow so they give you a scenario and there are mm -hmm. six questions under that scenario okay. you have to answer what is wrong with this person you have to oh, okay. diagnose the person mm. then you have to manage that diagnosis okay and, and other questions that will be under it so okay. if there are three mm. case studies and six questions subsets of all these three that'll be 18 questions for the total three. the total mm. 18 mm. questions that's a big deal and that comes in your computer skills which which portion of this new or which section of the new entry do you have to type so there will still be all multiple choice and all that but the case uh, study mm -hmm. when the subsets when they ask the sub questions mm -hmm. you are they are not going to give you choose a choose b choose c you would have to write oh, really yes like just like english comprehension wow. when they ask wow. you about a question and you they have a question under the passage you have to write your explanation mm -hmm. of the passage yourself right all along i thought maybe the questions to the case studies or the scenarios are also going to be multiple choice where you have to select the right or wrong answer no. wow so that means you have to be like good at typing to be able to answer this yes. because i mean if you are yeah. typing it and it's so slow you the time will definitely go against you Wow. So guys, if you are not really a computer person or you don't know how to type, you have to start practicing your typing skills. There are some, some yeah. questions out there, but a case okay. study is the main change that is yep. okay. a lot of okay. people panic. So the second one okay. is extended response. As I said, we have select order apply. Mm -hmm. And the standard response is going to look like that. You still choose multiple answers that uh, are all correct in relation uh -huh. to the question. And in that session, is called extended response. Extended response. Okay. So what goes into the extended response? What sort of questions go under that part? Any question at all. It's mm. always been on the end class. It's called selected, mm. select or the apply. The question okay. comes and they'll ask all like the correct things you have to do. Mm -hmm. And all the answers almost all let's say if they have five objectives answers maybe three are correct okay and if you end up choosing two and leaving one behind before the old end the whole question will be wrong okay 
the letter that apply how it's working currently and always worked is that when they say select or that apply and there are three correct answers in there and you choose two or you choose four you over choose or under choose the whole question is wrong you don't get any okay. point at all okay but the new generation entries will give uh -huh. you some points for the answers that you've chosen the ones that are correct uh -huh. That is one okay. advantage of the new generation anchors that will be coming okay. to it. Mm. Get a point for any answer that you've chosen that is correct. Mm. You're not going to get the whole question wrong. wrong. Yes, we also have extended drag and drop. Extended drag and drop. Mm. Yeah. So it's basically like two columns or two rows. Then you drag something here to match the other okay. in another box. Okay. Yes. But now they will do the mixture so much that not everything will have a, another thing to match it. The options you'll be, you'll be dragging will be few or more. Mm. They will just add, load it with all mixture, then make yeah. it more difficult for you. Wow. And before, I think it used to be five year, five year. So everybody will get a match. Mm. Five, yeah. five, yeah. items, five yeah. items, everything yeah. will get a match. But now they are not going to make it equal, even numbers, equal numbers. Mm -hmm. One box will be more and one box will be less. So it's a bit more difficult for you to find a matching thing to drag it. Yeah. it. But you click on your mouse and drag it, mm -hmm. and then drop it on the selection and it will stay on it. Yeah. So you need to know how to hold the mouse down and drag things and, <laughs> and if you drag it and put it on the wrong one you should know how to reverse the arrow to back and drag it. <laughs> i always recommend one study app it's called you world it's extremely good you world mimics and class exactly as it is oh wow yes so when you buy that app online you sign up you pay dollars you sign up for a package it has question banks that you're trying and then you'll be meeting drag and drop questions. So you can use that mm. to figure this out. Practice. Mm. And there's a drop down arrow. So there'll be a question, there'll be an empty box, and there'll be a little drop down arrow. So you click on that arrow and you choose the answer that matches that sentence that is before you. Okay, so what's the, what's the category? What's the name of the? That is that called type? drop down or close. Drop down. So okay. there's another one called enhanced hotspot. So there's a sentence, enhance us, but there's a sentence, there's a, a scenario, a story they are telling you, and you have to fish out the answer. So there's a hotspot that has the answer. Okay. But you have to read the whole passage and know that this line is my answer. Wow. The answer is hiding in the sentence about the enhanced hotspot. The fifth one is called matrix or grid. Matrix. Oh, oh it's a grid, grid, column, grid. Mm. Yeah. So they also put some things in the column here and here and mm -hmm. don't say whether it's appropriate or inappropriate okay mm. yes the person has burns why are you doing peace, uh, cpr for that person it's inappropriate mm -hmm. so you leave that yeah. cpr option and focus on what you are doing you are trying to restore fluids you are trying to give them bolus fluids to keep them going if that is an answer that is there you want to choose that because it's appropriate so basically mm -hmm. this is how the mental picture of new generation mm -hmm. is going to be and so somebody takes it and comes and gives us test. <laughs> we will not know how it is. They've adjusted the marking scheme. There's no wrong answer anymore. There's no like totally wrong answer. If it's a letter that apply and you choose one and you choose three and two of those three options are right, you get a point for those three options. Okay. You know, to everything, there is a good side. So it's possible that people are panicking because it's new. No one has done this before. But then what are the two main key areas that you will say are the good sides to this new generation enclaves, the two main uh, positive sides to this new enclaves? The marking scheme has been adjusted a little bit to favor the nurse. Okay. So when you get a question wrong, it's not totally wrong. If the sub answers are make make sense and they are correct, you get a point for that. Mm. And also they reduce the number of questions to between okay. 70 to 135. All right. There is a 135, and the hours now is five hours. And trust mm -hmm. me, you do not want to be taking endless questions for five hours straight. No, nah. no, <laughs> can't. So it's either the computer lets you decide early that you passed or you failed and leave you there. So with regards to study materials, is it going to be the same materials? Should we are there any study materials or which sources that you recommend, like books? for somebody who is definitely likely to write or should 
should people use the same endless materials they've got or do you think there will be some additional questions that we will need additional resources for mm. so the study materials are the same because we do not have past questions yet for ngn anybody who writes after that from every if you are writing on the second and somebody wrote on the first and you have a pattern to look at mm, but yeah. on the ncsbn website they have sample questions they have put out there that this is how it's going to be looking like but the books sounders kaplan hesi ati u world they are still using the old generation because this mm -hmm. is a new announcement that came out a few weeks or a few months ago yeah. mm -hmm. so nobody has written new books and nobody has seen past questions to be talking about it yes but That's the true. concept remains the same your study material still still stay to that study material mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. there are books out there that talk about case studies like scenarios that you can read and just guide yourself um Prisla, thank you so so much for taking the time to explain things to us um i, I had this the first time from you if not you i wouldn't have known of any new generation english at all or what to expect mm -hmm. i did not know until i saw your video if you've not yet started the process you are likely to write the new generation in class. Yeah. No matter how difficult or easy it is, we will definitely go through this. From what Chris Lack is saying, there might not be the need for any new resources because like said, medical conditions are medical conditions. Pathophysiology will obviously be the same. So just understand the rationale of the question, just study the content, understand the rationale behind every uh, answer to every question, basically. So good luck to, whoever or uh, the first set of people who will be writing <laughs> new generation English. and then i hope they will come up with positive feedback which will actually motivate other people to also i mean going for it so thank you so much Prisla. if you have not subscribed to Prisla's uh, channel there are so many right? there is so much information if you want to like migrate to the us he's got all the information and if you need help migrating to the us if you contact her consultancy firm, they can guide you through the entire process. So we will end this video for now. And thank you so much, guys, for watching. See you in our next videos. Please don't forget to subscribe to Prisla's channel, which is useful information. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.